Hi, I'm Geraldo Rivera, and tonight we're going to be looking at success. Big success. We're going to find out what it's like being at the top. And tonight we are at the top. The luxurious 95th floor penthouse apartment of publisher, producer, and multimillionaire Johnny LaRue. Now, some of the biggest names in show business are here tonight, and more are arriving all the time. Dane Clark just came in with Lulu. Dane, and over there we see Norman Mailer with uh, Sandy Duncan. He's talking to her. And they're all waiting for just one thing, for their host, Johnny LaRue, to put in an appearance at his own party. Uh, I thought I recognized you. <laughs> I guess it takes a professional electronic news journalist to recognize another professional journalist. Hi, Geraldo. Earl Cannon Bear from SCTV News. Hi, everybody. Would you excuse me? I'm trying to do a television show. Quite a party, huh? Look, why don't you get yourself a drink or something, huh? Uh, Barry Sullivan just came in. Hi, Barry. How are you? And over there in the corner, one of TV's most famous commercial announcers, Harvey K. Tell. I love your hair, voice, eyes, nose, skin. All I ask is a moment of your time for dinner, dancing, and maybe a show. How about you? You want to go out with me tonight? Well, as you can see, all the girls in Johnny's life are all very beautiful and all very available, I'm told. And the cream of the crop are hired to dress up in the famous gerbil costume and uh, become one of Johnny's gerbils. You'll be hearing from my lawyer, LaRue. I'm going to sue you for every penny you've got. You can't quit. You're fired. Go oh, take care of her. Sure, Johnny. And here he is, the king himself, the personification of success. Johnny LaRue. Geraldo, glad you could make it, man. Geraldo, I'd like you to meet my current piece, Trish Nutley. She's going to have a big career ahead of her. You mark my words. I'm going to star her in one of my films. Fantastic to meet you, Trish. Hi, thank you. Hi. Uh, how did uh, you and Johnny meet? Oh, Johnny was a judge at the Miss Nude Liberated Women's Contest in Las Vegas. <laughs> And he picked me to be one of his guinea pigs. Gerbils. Oh, gerbils. <laughs> well, I can see why, Trish. You're simply fantastic. You really are. Geraldo, here, why don't you take one of these? And I'd like to show you around the place. Sure. Come on with me. I'll show right. you. It's a beautiful place. Uh, I designed it all myself, Geraldo. Oh, really? <laughs> thank you, sweetheart. Cute thank you, doll. OK, this is a little chalk gives you a lovely, smooth stroke. Any good pool player knows that. And whoa, a little too much chalk, I think. <laughs> Funniest men in show business, Mr. Bobby Bittman. How are you? <laughs> Geraldo, it's Rivera, and I'm dangerously near you. <laughs> Good to see you, Geraldo. Hey, does this LaRue know how to throw a bash? I mean, really, this man is a gem. He's a giant in this industry, really. Johnny LaRue. <laughs> well, he's a big, big man getting bigger all the time. Oh, I show business thing. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> well, Aldo, I want to tell you, this is the side of Johnny LaRue that everybody loves. The parties, the broads, the booze, you know, really sensational. I want to show you a side of Johnny that not too many people know about. Come here, Aldo. Right. right over here. He's I want to greatest. show you something. Yeah, he's the greatest. You look at this. Take a look. Look at these plaques. Look at these. This man does more work for charitable organizations than anyone I know. Look at this. The Heart Foundation to Johnny LaRue. That's a very prestigious award. I got that one at home. The Liver and Kidney Foundation, Johnny LaRue. I got that last week. The myopic, I don't have that one over there. Guys like LaRue and myself, we, we like to give 110% of ourselves to as many people and charitable organizations as we can because in all seriousness, Geraldo, I mean, what else is there besides giving of yourself and helping people? Oh. Uh, Bobby, maybe you have a few routines up your sleeve. You oh, might just want to no, pull out the hard yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah. oh, no. I, I didn't come here to perform. I'm just a guest like everybody. Oh, 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 oh. I think I heard a phone ringing. I, I think I heard a phone ringing. Sweetheart, could you hand me that phone right there? I think it's ringing right here. Just, I don't know who. Uh, hello? Well, I it must be a bad Can I, I'll be right with you, Rolf. I don't know. Who is this? Julius Caesar? Get out of here. What is he calling me for? I, yo, how's Cleo? Oh, she's a snappy dresser. Is that the thing? I don't know what you say. You what? You came, you saw, you conquered. But not necessarily in that order. I don't know what he's saying. Look, I'm at a party right now. I can't talk to you. Yo, 
Well, I'll call you back. Well, how about March 15th? Oh. <laughs> what do you mean it's a bad day? What does he want from me here? Yeah. I got him. Geraldo, you get going. I got to I gotta talk to this He's guy. He's the greatest right Bobby Bibbins. Come on, Geraldo. Yeah, I'll show you that. You're the best, Geraldo. Come on, Geraldo. Come on, Geraldo. Thank you. Come on with me. Come on. Okay. Somebody get me a drink, will you? <laughs> sight in one eye I'm sorry I can't hear you did you really say goodbye that Geraldo is Connie Franklin one of my favorite singers in the 1950s a lot of people say she's depressing but I really like her style Good work, Connie. Bye, Connie. Who's got a cigarette over here? Connie, just fantastic. You haven't lost that touch. Tell me, Connie, what have you been doing since the 50s? Not much. <laughs> well, we've all seen your fabulous Connie's Greatest Hits commercial. Thank you very much. I had eight costume changes in that. Really? <laughs> and we're all looking forward to your one-hour special. That was the special. What? The commercial. They had to cut off a few minutes here and there, but I got to keep all the dresses. I'm wearing one of them now. Well, it's just fantastic. Uh, Connie, what are your plans for the future? Well, I've just cut a new album. I have high hopes for this one. I like to call it Disco Connie. I think it's going to reach out to all the young folk. Would you like to hear one of the cuts? Certainly. <laughs> Say goodbye. Do the hustle. Come on with me. Oh, she really bums me out, you know? Come on, I'll show you the rest of the place. Oh, my. We'll be back to Johnny LaRue's fabulous penthouse after this commercial message. <laughs> This is where the action really is. It's the legendary bedroom of Johnny LaRue. They say Johnny spends all his time in his bed, running his empire from there. Geraldo! Welcome, Geraldo. Welcome to my bedroom. Geraldo, I designed this bed myself. I've got everything I need here. A radio, TV, stereo, cassette decks, a uh, wok, a cooking system, a refrigerator. I've even got a wine cellar. Let me go down and get a special bottle of wine. Wine, girls, wine! I'll be back! Oh, fantastic, Johnny, just fantastic. Oh, there's Della Reese. Della and Pee Wee Reese. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> There's Andy Warhol. Oh, here we go. Mouton, Crouton, 68. Oh, good year. Well, Johnny, Johnny, if you had to sum up the word success, how would you do it? Geraldo, come on with me. Excuse me, girls. I'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. No, I swear, we'll just listen to records, really. <laughs> Let's go back. Uh, I've got Bonavani, Arthur Fiedler, Andre Castellano. It's all fine. Two record sets available for just $4.99. Paper cassette, $6.99. Beat it, you lounge lizard. Go on, get going. You, you're fired. Get packing. Go on, get moving. I make them and I break them, Geraldo. You certainly do, Johnny. Take a look out there, Geraldo. That's what it's all about. You see those people down there, Geraldo? They look like bugs, don't they? Uh-huh. I could squash them if I wanted to. <laughs> Woo. Well, Johnny, they say you can't get to the top without stepping on a few people al along the way. I'll tell you something, Geraldo. For every one I've squashed, there's a hundred that I've helped. That's why I got a house full of friends here, hanging around all day, eating my food, drinking my booze. But I'll tell you something, Geraldo, they love me. Why, I could just snap my fingers and they'd all come running. Floyd, this is truly an emotional experience for me to see this. Hey, cut that off! <laughs>